is our month to try for a baby. We're in the midst of a full blown tanty. Yeah. You want to pack your trains? I'll break for something. Okay. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I would take you in, I guess, a day in the life. This morning we're heading off to our toddler workshop, which if you watched the previous video, you would have heard me mention. And yeah, we're gonna pick up a coffee on the way, get some cash out because we always have our card. Thea's been having a little bit of a tanty this morning, but that's okay. We're riding the wave. And I don't know what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, so. I'll let you down. Um, I'll grab a large. A large? With, yeah, with a vanilla shot, please. A large, so a large pair of vanilla shot? Yeah, and then can I just grab uh, two hash browns, please? Two hash browns? Yep. This is a bit of a treat. Are you excited? Are you excited for a hash brown? Look at your face, he's so anticipated on this hash brown. <laughs> But I would basically touch base on the toddler workshop that we did so I did mention this a little bit in my previous video but Isaac and I decided to do this parenting toddler workshop to basically enhance our education on gentle parenting it's something that we've always been like interested on interested something that we try and apply to our parenting um, just because I want to well, we both want to parent from an empathetic perspective and really allow like Theodore to like have a safe environment so this workshop that we went to it's really great it goes for about four to five weeks and it basically talks about a range of different things but I'll basically talk about what we did this week so this week we identified the different um, parenting techniques and the different uh, children personalities and um, the lecturer really addressed how we can easily change our parenting techniques but our, child, our children can't really change the way their personalities are so we are meant to accommodate our techniques to our children's personalities and that really resonates with me I feel like that is so true and if you think about how like our, our parents were I don't know about you but I guess for me um, in our household emotions were always swept under the rug and they weren't acknowledged so we didn't really grow up having the tools on how to address our emotions and now that I'm an adult and a parent and now that I'm trying to teach my child how to acknowledge his emotions I feel like it's a bit of a learning curve for me and I not only have to teach him but I have to really learn from scratch how to do that again so I think like this workshop's a good reminder on like all the things that we can do to enhance our children's well-beings and upbringings and yeah it really resonates with me and there's a lot of like great like-minded parents there so I think it's something that everyone should do is like educate yourself because there's nothing more powerful than the tool of education and knowledge and it's just perfect um but another thing that i wanted to touch base on was i said before that i didn't know what we were doing this afternoon but then i realized that we have a bunch of appointments so isaac and theodore are going to go to the physio and i'm actually going to go to the chiropractor i've never been before so it's the first time for everything i'm a little bit nervous i must admit but uh the reason why i'm going to the chiropractor is to basically in 2016 i had a really bad car accident um which i made a video on but it's not very good i feel like it's a bit dramatic and just i don't know i feel like it didn't really get the story across properly but you can check that out if you want to um but i basically fell pregnant at the end of 2016 so i had the car accident in september and fell pregnant late november and um i guess my body didn't really have the chance to heal because it went from trauma to pregnancy which is also i feel like quite traumatic for, on your body um 
and then I had really bad postpartum depression and I was just like I guess adjusting to parenthood and now that we're two years out of it um I think it's time to like do something for myself and get everything checked out because I basically have like a stiff neck and I feel like my spine it's just not the way it used to be I feel like everything's out of alignment and I just want to get it checked over and make sure that like it's all okay or like to fix it if it's not because we're on a health journey here and another exciting news is that we've definitely decided that june july is our month to try for a baby so it's really important that i get my health in order before i get pregnant we did have that little pregnancy scare before but i think that was a bit of a wake up that i have to get my health in order before we actually fully start trying for a baby so i actually got my bloods done um i think it was either last week or the week before and they came back really well all my levels are perfect i did think that i was low in iron but apparently it's all okay so that's good but i still need to get to the bottom to the reasons why i feel like quite dizzy and i guess um lacking in energy so we'll get to that soon but i don't know if that's just because of parenthood and then there's another thing that i want to organize before i obviously get pregnant and that is addressing mental health so like i said before i basically had really bad prepartum and postpartum depression and i think there's a lot of trauma around that that i kind of i did i did see somebody and i did address it but i i have like a lot of fear around falling pregnant and i feel like it's quite taboo like not a lot of people really get it unless they've walked in those shoes everyone that i talk to is like well it's going to be different this time and it's really hard to I guess under like explain the reasons why i'm feeling that way because it's not really like something you can explain it's a feeling and um so that's something that i want to address before anything happens and yeah that is basically my little tangent i um i'm actually oh, i've just done like about two hours worth of work because i am trying to i guess um be more consistent and upload more on youtube so i really hope you guys are enjoying the extra videos but i'm trying to make it more of a priority now that i uh, like i'm not studying this year so i have that bit of spare time up my sleeve and i think i'm just kind of navigating where i stand with things because i've literally studied like part-time and full-time for the last four years and now i'm just like oh what do i do with my life but we're, we're working it out well it's a slow work in progress so now i'm just going to basically get us get us ready to go to the appointments and yes yeah, i'll see you then so i am back from my chiropractor appointment that was really interesting like i said i've never been before so i was a little bit nervous um, I'm actually feeling a bit sore but he did say because I've had trauma to the spine that it is normal to be sore like afterwards and the next day so I am going back on Monday it is Friday today so I'll see him in a few days time and check in on how everything's going but I think it will be a longer process if there is a bit more trauma to the spine we just have to find out um, he did say that my hips were like out of alignment like my right hip lifted up taller and then because my like right side's kind of overcompens oh no it's my left i don't know but there's like tension on my right side so everything's like lifting up higher which is really interesting so that's what we're working on um it was so scary when he like cracked my neck i don't want to scare anyone but it was it was just really nervous but now i thought i would do a bit of decluttering if you don't know i'm going through like a whole decluttering stage right now i just just feeling like I need a bit of a refresh, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go through our winter stuff and um, probably our wardrobes and just see what we can get rid of and take it from there. So I thought I would show you what's going on with the decluttering situation. I've kind of just forgotten about it, but we'll deal with it in the morning. Real life. Isaac is trying on a suit shirt that's way fun. too crinkled. I think I will end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed this, I guess, day in the life. 
um i'm tired i'm gonna get ready for bed and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye guys Bye.